Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. If you've never taken my class before, I am Wendy. We're going to do a basic yoga class. You're going to need a mat, possibly a block, a pillow, a bolster to sit on. If you're doing this on the replay and you have any questions later, please let me know. You can always message me and ask. We're going to start seated, seated on our mat, legs crossed, hands on the knees. And just starting to notice our breath. I like to sit on a block, it raises my hips a little bit and provides a nice line from hip to my knees to the mat. Se seated flat on the mat is fine as well. Sitting nice and tall, take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, take that chin down to the chest. As we go through this practice today, I'm gonna to ask you to extend those inhales and exhales. Take that gaze up. As we extend our breath, we'll be able to find deeper poses. Take it to the shoulder. And the other shoulder. Half circles, side to side. One more each side. Just starting to warm up that neck, the upper spine. Inhale, swing those arms up, interlace those fingertips, really pressing towards that ceiling. Long breath in, out through the nose, in through the nose, and out through the nose. Take it over to the side. And the other side. <laughs> Once more each side. <laughs> Hello, Kashmir, I see you. Last time on this side. Good. Okay, I see you. But you have to get off the mat, all the way off the mat. Swing those arms back and forth. Warming up those shoulder. Good, roll those shoulders back. We're gonna be working on our upper body this week. So get ready, <laughs> forward rolls. Good, shake it all out. If you have anything on your mat, go ahead and clear it off. And come down to your back, Zeppelin, excuse me. Thank you, bud. I have socks on because it's freezing here today. It's like five degrees, I'll take them off eventually. <laughs> Soles of the feet are going to touch, butterfly those knees out, and then lay all the way into your back. Place those hands on the belly, close the eyes, long breaths in and out. From here, what I want you to do is check in on yourself. What do you need from your yoga practice today? You're going to set an intention. An intention is like a goal, but it's very present based, it's not future based. As your mind wanders during this practice, you're gonna come back to that intention over and over again. And that will allow you to do this yoga practice with purpose and on purpose. Long breath in. And out. In. And out. Take those arms overhead, big long breath in. Really stretching out that back. And out, let those hands rest on the floor. Stretching out that stomach. One more breath here, long inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and hug those knees into the chest. Give that spine a rock back and forth. Then let the soles of the feet come back down towards the mat. Let the knees fall naturally to the right. It's just a light twist on your spine. Open up those arms like a T.
Long breaths in and out. Two more. Good, take the soles up, plant those feet, and then let the knees fall to the left, leaving those arms out like a T. Light twist on your spine. Good, hug those knees back into the chest. And then rock up to a seated position. We're going to come to all fours on your mat. And you're going to stack those hips right over those knees. Your fingertips are wide. And you're going to externally rotate your wrists just a little bit outwards. As we go into cat cow. On the inhale, you're going to drop that belly and lift that chin. On the exhale, you're gonna round that spine as you push all the air out. Inhale, drop that belly, lift the chin. Exhale, pushing all that air out. Inhale. And exhale. In. And out. Go ahead and take a few on your own. Maybe slowing down that breath, maybe speeding it up. Whatever feels good to you. Last one. And out. Good, long neutral spine. You're gonna inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna tuck those toes, lift those hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Keep those knees soft. And I want you to pedal out those feet. We're still warming up here. Good, inhale, come up on those toes, bend both knees and take the gaze towards the top of the mat. Uh, your spine is gonna be long and straight. And then go ahead and straighten those legs. Not locking the knees, they're still soft. Come up on those toes, bend both knees, look towards the top of your mat. And straighten. Bend both knees. And straighten. Fingertips are wide. Bend both knees. And straighten. Three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Take both of your knees to the mat. They're gonna go wide. Your big toes are gonna touch behind you. You're gonna press those hips back towards your heels as you go into a child's pose, really reaching those fingertips towards the top of the mat. Staying here for several breaths. Child's pose is always here for you. It's the pose you hit if you need a break, if you need to catch your breath, if you need to slow down that heart rate, hit child's pose and just rest. Three more breaths here. Good, inhale, coming back to all fours, stack those hips right over the knees, Hand, fingertips are wide, hands are externally rotated just a little bit, inhale, tuck those toes, exhale, press those hips up, downward facing dog. Long breath here, and out. Take baby steps towards your hands, and then I want you to catch opposite elbows, you're gonna hang like a rag doll, Give a gentle sway in that spine. Knees are still soft.
Good, let go of those hands. You're gonna roll to a stand, stacking those vertebrae one at a time. Shoulders are gonna come last, up, back, down. Go ahead and shake it up. Grab water if you need it. Okay, standing nice and tall on Tadasana. Your feet are hip width distance apart. It's a little tension in your thighs, standing nice and tall, really balanced. Take your hands to heart center, close those eyes, deep breath in. And out. One more in. And out. Let those eyes open. Inhale, swing those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen that spine. You're up on your fingertips. On the exhale, you're gonna place those hands down as you step back to a plank. If this is too much for you, you can always take the knees to the mat. Hover here for a moment. Then using those arms, hug those elbows into the side. Slowly lower yourself all the way under your belly. Untuck those toes. Take your cheek to the mat. Give those hips a rock. Inhale, lifting your shoulders and your upper chest, baby cobra. Exhale back down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down. One more inhale. And down. This time, inhale all the way up, upward facing dog. Your full belly is off the mat. You can even take those legs off the mat. Exhale back down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale back down. Last one, inhale, upward facing dog. Tuck those toes, lift those hips, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Last one. Baby steps towards the top of the mat. And you're gonna roll to a stand. Shoulders can last up, back, down. Shaking it out. Still warming up that body, nice and tall. Inhale, swing those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Exhale, take it back to a plank. Inhale here. Exhale, take it all the way to your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tuck those toes, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Baby steps, top of the mat. And roll to a stand. Shoulders. Good. Inhale. Swing those arms up, really reaching towards that ceiling. Forward fold. Inhale. Tabletop. Exhale. Plank. Breathe in here. Exhale to your belly. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Pedal up those feet. Good, pouring all the weight into that left foot. Take the right leg to the sky. Go ahead and stack those hips on top of each other. Open up the hip to the side, bend that knee. One more up here. Good, square those hips, take that foot down. One breath here. Weight is on the right foot, take the left foot to the sky. Go ahead and stack those hips, open up to the side, bend that knee. One more breath in. Square those hips, take that foot down. Three breaths in downward facing dog. Last one, inhale. And exhale, take the knees to the mat. They go wide, press back to a child's pose.
Inhale, come into all fours. Stack those hips right over the knees. Long breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Baby steps, top of the mat. Roll to a stand. Shoulders last. Go ahead and swing those arms. We're going to start working those shoulders. You're going to feel it. If you haven't already. <laughs> nice and tall. Inhale, swing those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Exhale, step it back to a plank. We're going to hold this plank for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Good. Roll it forward to plank. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. I know, I know, it's hard. <laughs> Do breaths here. Roll it forward to that plank. Last time, 10 seconds. You can always take this on your knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Take those knees all the way down. They go wide. Press it back to a child's pose. Coming back to that intention you said at the beginning of practice. As the practice gets harder, come back to that intention. Inhale, coming to all fours. Stack those hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk towards the top of the mat. And roll to a stand. Shake it out. Grab water if you need it. We're going to go into our warrior series. Oh, I'm so cold. It was so cold outside. <laughs> Standing nice and tall, you're in Tadasana. You're going to take that left foot back first. It's going to be at a 45. Square those hips to the top of the mat. Bend that right knee. It's going to stack right over the ankle. Nice. You need to widen your stance just a little bit. Take the arms up, warrior one. Long breaths in and out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, give it a slight rise. Good, exhale, bend. Inhale, slight rise. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten that front knee. Open the arms up. You might need to widen your stance just a little bit. Rebend that front knee, gazes over those front fingertips. Arms are parallel to the floor. Breathe here. Two more breaths. One more. Straighten that front knee, flip the palm, and take the warrior back, really reaching up. Good. The arms swing. Rock those hips towards the back of your mat, reaching this hand, your right hand, towards the front of your mat. So you pivot to triangle. With triangle, if you really rock that hip back, you'll find that space. Your hand will be on the thigh, the knee, the shin, or even the floor. Good. Inhale, swing those arms. Rebend that front knee. We're going to swing the arms again. Thigh, shin, or floor. Or side angle.
Go ahead and look down at that right foot. Take both hands on the inside of the foot. Pop that back heel up and adjust for a low runner's lunge. Spreading those fingertips. Place those hands flat. Really distribute the weight with the foot and those hands. One more breath here. And out. Bend that back knee, hop that back foot forward about a foot. You're gonna fold over this extended right leg. If you can't make it all the way to the floor, go ahead and use a block. Give both knees a bend. Step that back foot to the front foot. Keep those knees bent. Swing those arms up, chair pose. Breath here. And out. Inhale. Take your hands to heart center. Go over that shoulder so that you're in a nice twist. Go ahead and extend those arms. Once the floor, once the sky. Good. Hands to heart center, straighten those legs, shake it all out, grab water. We're going to do all of that on the other side. I'm on number three of these. That means I'm over halfway done with my, my gallon for the day. <laughs> Standing nice and tall in Tadasana, take that right foot back, it's at a 45. Square those hips to the top of your mat. Bend that knee. Knee stacks right over the ankle. Take the arms up. Warrior one. Long breaths in and out. And yes, there'll be a little bit of discomfort in the warrior series. It, uh, it looks like poses, but they're very active poses. Inhale, slight rise. Exhale, bend that knee. Inhale, slight rise. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, slight rise. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten that knee, open the arms up. Maybe widen that stance, re-bend that front knee, gazes over these fingertips, the front fingertips. Glance back at that back arm, make sure it's parallel to the floor. Long breaths here. One more breath. Good, straighten that front knee, flip the palm, take the warrior back. Inhale, the arms swing, rock that hips to the back of the mat, reach for the front of the mat, pivot to triangle on the other side. Two more breaths here. Inhale, swing those arms up. Rebend that front knee. Swing the arms again. Knee or thigh, knee, or all the way to the floor. Look down at that foot, place both palms on the inside of it, pop that back heel up, adjust for a low lunge. Make sure your palms are pressed all the way into the mat. Really distribute that weight. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. Bend that back knee, hop it forward about a foot. You're gonna fold over this front leg. If you can't get all the way to the floor, use a block. Bend both knees, step that back foot to the front foot, keep those knees bent, swing those arms up, chair pose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hands are at center. Twist over that opposite shoulder. Breathing here. Extend those arms, one to floor, one to sky. Good. 
Good. Hands to heart center. Straighten both of those legs. Stand nice and tall. Inhale. Swing those arms up. Just stretch towards that ceiling. Interlace the fingertips. Really give a slight arch on that back. Good. Coming back up. Release those arms. Shake it out. Grab water if you need it. Going into our balancing series. Let's start with tree pose. <laughs> right foot to inner calf, knee all the way up to the upper thigh. Spot something on the floor that's not moving. Hands to heart center. And then extend them to the ceiling once you've got that balance. Hold this for five breaths of your own. Taking it down, switch to the other side. Taking that foot up, spot something on the ground, not moving. Hands to heart center. Once you find your balance, take those arms up. Five breaths. Good, take it down, shake it all out. We're all gonna meet in a downward facing dog. Take your time getting there. We're gonna be setting up for pigeon. So from your downward facing dog, give it a nice stretch in that back, make room for those shoulders, shake that head out. And then take that right leg to the sky, bend the knee. You're gonna swing that leg forward, crosses in front, right ankle to left hip crease, untuck those back toes, extend that leg. Nice and tall in those fingertips and then fold over it. If you need something underneath your butt on the right side, go ahead and place a block or a bolster or a pillow there. It'll take some of that strain off. Pigeon's such a good pose, it does all the work for you. But if you're not quite there yet, there is absolutely no shame in putting something underneath and letting building up the ground to you. Three more breaths here. Last one. Come up on those fingertips, nice and tall. Tuck those back toes. You're gonna swing that right leg all the way up and back down to downward facing dog. Two breaths here. And take that left foot up to the sky. Bend that knee, swing that leg through. Your left foot is gonna to come to your right hip crease. Untuck those back toes, extend that leg. Nice and tall in those fingertips. And then forward fold over it. And again, if you need something underneath here, place something there. It'll take a little bit of the strain off. Three more breaths. Last one. Good. Come up nice and tall on those fingertips and tuck those back toes. You're gonna swing that leg all the way up and down. Downward facing dog for three breaths. 
Inhale. And exhale. Last one in. And out. Good. Take those knees to the mat. All the way. You're going to swing those legs around. Sit all the way back so that your legs are extended in front of you. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, take those hands overhead. Exhale, forward fold over those toes to your ability. I have a very short torso and I'm short, so I can grab my toes. If you're taller or if you don't have the flexibility yet, or if you've got a belly like I do, <laughs> it can make it harder. Just fold to your ability. There's no perfect pose. There's just your pose. And all of our bodies are different. I said this the other day. I could, I could give all of you the same workouts every day. We could all eat the same exact things and we would all look different. <laughs> there is no cookie, cookie cutter, perfect body. Inhale, swing those arms up, exhale down. Bring the soles of the feet and butterfly those knees out, sitting up nice and tall again. You're gonna use your elbows to press down on those legs, opening up those hips, staying nice and tall. Good. Long breaths in and out. I was asked about meditation from someone who took my class on the replay last week and asked, do they have to sit nice and tall seated? No. You can make yourself as comfortable as you want for meditation. You can lay down even. Um, the whole goal of meditation is to quiet your mind. That's actually the, the goal of yoga itself. So just sitting somewhere, you can use a mantra to keep coming to, back to. It's like our intention that we set in our yoga class. Just coming back to that same thing over and over again will allow space in your mind instead of the busy commotion that's always happening. Find a nice, comfortable place to sit or lay down can even lean against a wall. Set your phone, set a timer for 10 minutes, even five minutes each day, and then build up a little bit more. It's greatly beneficial, just as beneficial as this practice we're doing right now. We're gonna take those knees up, soles of the feet are on the ground. We're gonna take it all the way under our back. Oh, that's the step. Hug those knees into the chest. With those three fingers, you're gonna grab the big toes, open up those hips, happy baby. Give that spine a rock back and forth. Good, inhale, take those knees in. We're gonna work on our core a little bit now. Press those heels to the ceiling. You're gonna take your palms, slap that ground next to you. I'm going to slowly lower those legs, really tightening the core, draw that belly button towards your spine and control the descent of those heels to the ground. It will get harder the lower you get. And the floor will be much farther away than you would think it would be. Once those heels touch the ground, you're going to release all the tension in those legs and the arms. Beautiful. We're going to do the same exact thing again. Hug those knees into the chest. Press the soles of the feet to the sky. Palms are down to the ground. Control the descent. Tighten up that core like you would if you're doing a crunch. Almost there. Couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Drag the soles of the feet together. Your knees are butterflied out. I want one hand on your belly, the other hand up on your chest. Deep breath in and out. Inhale. And exhale. Two more in. 
and out. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful knees back into the chest. Hold on to that right knee, extend that left leg all the way down to the mat. I'm gonna draw that right knee across your body. Your spine is gonna come off the mat. You're gonna open up that right arm like a wing. Good, one more breath here. And out. Both knees come back into the chest. This time extend that right leg all the way to the mat. Drawing that left knee across the body. Your spine comes off the mat. Open up that left arm like a wing. It's a beautiful twist on your spine. As we finish off, our asana practice today. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. And out. Inhale. Both knees into the chest. Last squeeze. And then take your time. Let the soles of the feet come down. Then you're going to extend those legs. Your feet are going to go to the corners of the mat. Arms alongside your body, palms up, eyes shut. And then I want you to do a mental scan, relaxing all the tension that we hold in our knees, our lower back, our upper spine, our jaw. We're gonna let go of those long inhales and exhales and just breathe naturally. I just want you to relax here for a few minutes. I will tell you when it's time to come out, your job is just to let the floor support you. During Shavasana, you don't have to stay perfectly still. If you find tension in your body, you need to move those arms, go ahead and move them. Move the legs if you need to. Ideally, you just lay there, but sometimes we need to work out little kinks that are still in our bodies. Keeping those eyes shut, we're slowly coming back. Mm -hmm. 
Moving those fingers and toes. The wrists and ankles. Slowly draw both arms overhead. Big good morning stretch. Feeling all that you just did for your body. Leaving that right arm up. Go ahead and curl onto your right side. Rest there. And then when you're ready, make your way to a seated position. Legs crossed, hands on the knees. Take your time getting there. We're gonna take two breaths together to close our practice today. Inhale, exhale, sigh. Inhale, exhale, sigh. I hope this practice was beneficial to you. I hope to see you next practice. Namaste. And as you carry on throughout the day, do something for me. Drink your water. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you later.